Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In yesterday's MT Predictor video we took a good look at losses and how losses always will unfold no matter what trading approach you take. We had a little look at a example on one of the USE minis, the ES, yesterday. Today I'd then like to see what happened just the very next day, just to show you how markets go in cycles. But before we start we have to look at our risk disclaimer and remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken, they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing, <clears throat> and as such all trade decisions are your own sole responsibility. And as I said yesterday, losses can and will and do unfold no matter what trading approach you take. Right, if you remember yesterday we talked about how MT Predictor is not a black box system. We don't look to take all the trades all the time, even though we have automatic signals on the charts. We do this because we understand that markets go in cycles. Therefore only about 50% of the time or half the time the markets are in a good position uh, with respect to the, a clear larger degree trend. How do we decide on that? Well we go to a higher time frame chart. So if you're trading a 3 minute chart, you'd go out to the 15 minute chart. I'll just scroll forward to before yesterday even opened. Okay, What we do is we look at previous swing pivots. Uh, you can see here, here was a swing pivot on, we're looking at the NQ today. If we right mouse click here and we do decision point, can you see how that gave you an area of support? But that area of support was on the chart in advance. So before the market even opened yesterday, you knew that that was an area of support. So what we're looking for, we're looking to see when the market reacts as you anticipate. In other words here you see the market went down, it made the low of the day at that uh, support zone and then rallied for the rest of the day. In other words the market pattern was clear. Have a look at the ES and you can see how yesterday the ES wasn't clear because if we go to this chart you can see if I right mouse click here do decision point you can see how the market went down be below that and then it rallied up. In other words it wasn't making a reversal at a clear support and this is why it's so hard uh, for most amateur traders to understand why black box systems don't work is because sometimes the market pattern is not clear. So we wait until the market pattern is clear and that's only about half the time. So do you see how that is made a reversal nicely? This one didn't. This pattern's not clear. This one's clear. So now we go down to the shorter time frame. If you're say trading daily stocks you'll be using the weekly for your larger degree trend. If you're say trading Forex or maybe a 15 minute chart you'd go out to an hourly chart. So it's the logical time frame between 3 and time, three and 5 time frames higher. So here we can see that there's our support zone. You can see the market made the low really nicely. The market started to rally up. <clears throat> our MTP trend went blue therefore confirming that our anticipation of support was good and the market trend was now up. Therefore you'd be looking for long setups. We had a TS1 buy setup unfold here, so if I right mouse click to analyze trade setup, you can see this came into a um, potential long trade there. If you were actually um, trading the big account, you can see that that would actually have had your risk exceeded. <clears throat> if you were, say, trading the, the micro minis, then you'd probably be able to go into a long trade. But the point being is this would have been a losing trade. So as we looked at yesterday, even though the setup looks good, the market pattern looks clear, losses can and will and do unfold. No matter what trading approach, they always will be losing trades. Then we came down and did a TS3, W3 or WAY3 trade setup, long trade setup on this bar. Again, this looked like a good trade setup, so we right mouse click, we do analyze trade setup, this then gave us another long trade setup. Here our position sizing took account of how many contracts to, to take. Just want to quickly go over to show you what that would have looked like on um, a the MNQ, there you go, that one there. So here if you were still trading with the default $20,000 account, this one you would have actually been able to go nine contracts and then on this one here it would have been 10 contracts. And if you had a smaller account, say a $10,000 account, again takes account of the, or a $5,000 account, it takes account of the number of contracts to, uh, to trade on that particular setup. So our position sizing allows you to uh, vary the number of lots, contracts or shares, but still keep your initial risk small and under control depending on what size account you're actually trading with. Let's go back to the big contract to carry on our analysis. Whoops, not that chart. It was that one, sorry, there we go. And as you can see the market started to take you in and started to go with you. 
As the market started to rally up, you're getting close to your typical wave 3 WPT. This would have been your target. You're getting close to it and you're sitting on about 7 hour profit. But this is why it's important uh, to understand that to be a successful trader is about being a good trader. It's not just having a black box system. Because a black box system here would have just kept you in here and would have been a bit unsure what to do. But if you were a good trader, what you'd have had a look at as well is you'd have kept an eye on the 24 hour chart. The previous chart was on the day session only or regular trading hours, 9.30 to 16.15 um, New York time. But as the market was rallying up here, again I'll go forward so you can see how this was on the chart in advance. So on your 24 hour chart of the NQ, you'd right mouse click over that pivot and that would have given you an area of resistance. Can you see that on the chart in advance? So here the market went up and where the high came in on the day session only chart, if I go back to that one, whoops, I'll just minimize that down and stop me going over the different charts. Sorry about that. So where the high, um, sorry, I'm uh, getting, I get, I get these charts right. There we go. So where the high came in, what appeared to be in the middle of nowhere on your regular trading hours chart, when you actually go to the 24 hour chart here, can you see how the market made a reversal right at your decision point level? In other words, an area where you would anticipate that reversal to come in. If I now go down to the three minute chart on that and scroll back, you can see there's our same W3 or Wave 3 trade setup. If I place the analysis on, you can see it came up to the higher time frame resistance. So what you would have done if you were a good trader, you'd have then noticed that you're actually at higher time frame resistance on the 24 hour chart. You'd perhaps decide to bring your stop a bit closer, perhaps trail with your ATR stop, which is our blue dots here. So if this is the case, you'd have been stopped out here for a nice five hour profit. So in other words, this would have turned out to be a nice trade. But you see how it's so important from the yesterday's video and this losing trade here earlier that you keep your losses small because when you have good trades come through which happened the very next day i.e. Uh, yesterday the profits are large and this is what MT Predictor is all about it's not about having a high percentage of winners it's about when the losses come through and they always will do no matter what trading approach you take the losses are kept small but when you have good trades the profits are large not just in dollars but in risk reward units, i.e. your profit is large in relation to your initial risk or your losses. And this is what MT Predictor is all about. This is why I wanted to do this video today to show you that even though we had a very good looking trade yesterday on the ES that turned out to be a loss, and even though you started the day on the NQ, even though the pattern was clear with another losing trade there, the next trade came through as a profit, but that profit was large much larger than the losses and that's what puts you back into profit and moves your account forward. Profits are large, losses are small and that's the key to a successful trading approach. So hopefully this has been a good video to show how uh, how MT Predictor is designed and how we look to only trade when the pattern's clear, understanding that half the time the market is, uh, is, is not in a clear pattern, so half the time we don't quite know what the market's doing. But what we're doing is looking for a clear pattern when the market is making a good reversal of higher time frame support. So here you can see here's our 15 minute DP. The market came down, that called the low really nicely and off that we had a rally for the rest of the day and therefore we're looking for long trades. We then managed the trade as it went up and looking to take profits which are large in relation to the losses. We managed that with the help of the 24 hour chart and as we saw that's where that DP resistance came in. So a good trade for MT Predictor yesterday where we had a lovely TS3 W3 long trade later in the day that resulted in a nice profitable trade. Oh, by the way, these are our uh, MT Predictor add-ons for NinjaTrader 8 we're using in this video.